Welcome to a WUSA 9 Plus special on all things spotted lanternflies. I'm meteorologist Caitlin McGrath. Now, chances are you've been noticing more of these critters out and about recently. They may look pretty with their polka dots and bright red coloring, but they can wreak havoc on certain plants. But before we dive into what they're threatening and what you can do to help manage their population, let's start with how they got here in the first place. The spotted lanternfly is an invasive species that's believed to have come to the U.S. from Asia on a shipment of stone materials. They were first spotted in eastern Pennsylvania in 2014, and in 2018, they started showing up in the D.C. region and they have been spreading ever since. And they have spread far and fast. Spotted lanternflies have now been detected in 18 states with the highest populations seen here on this map from the Cornell College of Agriculture and Life Sciences in places like Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, and Virginia. Now, if you're wondering how they spread so quickly, get this, spotted lanternflies are really good hitchhikers. They attach themselves to vehicles, outdoor equipment, and other things that travel long distances and just hit the road. So you should always check your car before you hit the pavement for a road trip. Look for egg masses, nymphs, and adults. I spoke with Dr. Michael Raup, an entomologist with the University of Maryland, about why they're seemingly showing up in greater numbers around the DMV this summer. And they start as little isolated populations. They're off the radar. But as time goes by, their populations burgeon in the absence of predators or control tactics. And then all of a sudden, they are simply everywhere. That's why people are seeing so many right now. The other part of the puzzle is when they first hatch back in May, they're only this big. Mm -hmm. Now they're that big. It's much easier to see a big thing and a small thing, so the impression certainly is there's more, and they're taking flight, so they're going to be bumping into you and on your windshield and your windows. The good news is, while they may be a nuisance when you're out and about, they really won't harm your plants and trees. The biggest problem with the spotted lantern flies in vineyards where they can actually kill those grape vines. So they're taking the economic hit. In the forest, not so much. The only tree that's been recorded to be killed here in Maryland is tree of heaven, and that's an invasive species. So maybe not such a bad thing. In your landscape, the thing I worry about most is when they feed, the adults will excrete a sweet, sticky liquid called honeydew. That will rain down on plants below, encourage the growth of a black sooty mold that blocks the photosynthetic uh, capacity of plants below. So that's gonna harm the plants. Number two, that honeydew is gonna be highly attractive to bees, wasps, yellow jackets, hornets. This is gonna create a health risk in and around your home. So for me, that's really the big problem with the spotted lanternfly. Now with so many vineyards around our area, particularly in Northern Virginia, I took a trip to Zephaniah Farm Vineyard to see firsthand how they're being impacted. This is our first season where we've had them persistent throughout the growing season. Tremaine Hatch is a third generation farmer and viticulturist, an agricultural expert specializing in the cultivation of grapes for winemaking. Grapes uh, are really high sugar plants. That's why we make wine out of them. So they're really appealing to the spotted lanternfly. They act like vampires and suck the sap from the vines, which ultimately helps the farmers locate them in the vineyard. The insects themselves are pretty hard to see, but they do um, release this honeydew that leaves a little bit of a sheen on the leaves that's easier for me to see if there's enough of them feeding on a single grapevine. They could weaken that grapevine so it succumbs to injury during the winter or something like that. Thankfully, they haven't seen anywhere near that magnitude of spotted lanternflies here at Zephaniah, and this is a vineyard that has seen a higher population of spotted lanternflies in the area. Tremaine consults for around a dozen vineyards in Northern Virginia, and he says the best thing farmers can do is be proactive, specifically by removing Tree of Heaven, a common tree seen around the DC region, which also happens to be an invasive species, just like the spotted lanternfly. For them to complete an entire life cycle, they really need to feed on Tree of Heaven at some point during the year. So if we can remove Tree of Heaven adjacent to the vineyard, hopefully we have a lower population here, which is what we're shooting for. They also work with Loudoun County on a program called Scrape the Grape. During the winter, we had volunteers removing egg masses from the grapevine. So we're trying to do as much proactive work as possible so we don't have a bad consequence in the vineyard. When it comes to identifying spotted lanternflies, you probably recognize their adult form, but there are a few other stages to be aware of. 
Well, they started off as little tiny what we call nymphs. They were jet black with white polka dots, but as time went by, they changed into what we call the fourth instar stage. This brilliant red creature, black spots, white polka dots, but now they're changing into the adult insect with the wings and those beautiful red and black underwings that we see when they're disturbed. So this is what we're going to be exposed to for the next till we get a hard killing frost in December, late November, something like that. So this is the time of the year we're going to see a lot of these adult lantern flies out and about. And they really do look kind of pretty, but we don't want them around. So you may be wondering, what should I do if I see one? Well, despite what you may have heard and what I believed, you don't actually have to stomp, smash, and kill them. You can. You can take a shop vac, get them off the tree. Once you got them in that shop vac, you're going to have to figure out how you're offing those things. Number two, there are some pesticides, ready-to-use insecticides that you can squirt on these things. They're not all that hard to kill. Number three, if you don't want to deal with this yourself, we have wonderful, highly trained arborists here in the DMV. Just call those guys and gals up. They can come. They've got the tools and the technique. But number four, if you have that tree of heaven on your property, that's going to be key to their development later in the season as they begin to lay eggs. Get rid of that tree of heaven. That will dramatically reduce spotted lanternfly populations in and around your landscape. The University of Maryland now has over 1,000 reports of 20 species like spiders, insects, and birds that are all eating spotted lanternflies. So hopefully in a few years, Mother Nature will get rid of this pesky problem for us. But in the short term, it's going to take a hard killing frost to get rid of them for the season. I hope you've enjoyed this special report on WUSA 9 Plus. I'm meteorologist Caitlin McGrath, and I'll see you next time.